this is uh, question number three so it is sort example functions topic now we are supposed to find range of fx in this question where fx is defined as cos inverse uh, cos inverse root of 2x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 now uh, see this is a question where uh, you will find it a little difficult to understand because we have not done uh, uh, the concept of increasing and decreasing of functions and a little bit of curve sketching and all so the the I'll try to explain you but in case you're not able to understand you have to wait for the time when you finish your uh, the second part of the uh, uh, differential calculus that is application of derivatives after that when you come back and, and, and listen this again you'll be able to understand so th the, to find the range we'll just follow our typical approach typical philosophy where we uh, divide the function into composite form right, into parts we break into parts so first of all x goes into this uh, uh, sorry x goes into this uh, uh, like a algebraic function a rational function you can say because square root is involved and then output of this goes to cos inverse we, we understand cos inverse very well this is the graph of this it, ex it should ex expect input from between minus 1 and 1 and it will throw output from 0 to pi right so we need to see what is coming out of this for that we need to understand the behavior of gx function what is the range of gx we need to figure out for x belongs to r for all x belongs to r now this is something which at this stage you'll find it a little difficult to understand because you have not done but i'll try my best now to for this we need to un uh, let's understand what is the meaning of decreasing function decreasing function is the function that decreases means that if x is increased then y decreases or or if x is decrease y increases so relationship between the two is opposite like for example if you change x if you increase x the graph the y decreases y comes down so it's a falling graph right it's a falling graph as you move towards right the graph will fall down then only y will decrease like uh, like if i take example of sin x function in sin x from 0 to pi by 2 it's an increasing function it is a rising graph rising graph means as we increase x y increases so graph rises from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 see if you see this part graph is falling down falling down means towards right it falls it means that is if you're increasing x y is decreasing that is how we say that, that is how we define decreasing function and for a decreasing function falling function if you draw tangent at any point the slope of tangent will be negative because uh, uh, tangent will make obtuse angle with x-axis right whenever graph falls down and you draw tangent at any point slope of tangent will be negative and you know tangent slope of tangent is derivative so dy by dx is negative so decreasing means f dash x less than 0 increasing means f dash x greater than 0 so see I am not covering this topic in detail because it's not a um, uh, place to discuss this topic so uh, we have explained you only the, that part which can help you understand this uh, understand this question now we understand decreasing that derivative negative function is decreasing now if we come back and try to understand gx function you can see it's a, it's a function of x square x square is involved so gx is always positive so the graph of gx will be and it's just even function if you replace x or minus x uh, if we replace x or minus it remains same so it's symmetrical about y axis so we just worry about 0 to infinity and whatever we uh, analyze in right half same will be the behavior in left half because of symmetry about y-axis in right half like for example if you put x if I put x equal to 0 it is starting from 1 right and as you approach infinity if I take limit x approaches infinity then um, it will come out to be it is indeterminate form of the type infinity by infinity again if you have not done limits you can't understand this it is infinity by infinity indeterminate form so so to work out this indeterminate form I uh, I can apply I can divide an nd by x square so it is 2 plus 1 by uh, x right um, 
one denominator is one plus one by x square and numerator is if you divide numerator by x square inside it will become x to the power four two by x square plus one by x to the power four right because we can divide n and d by x square so if i take x square inside the square will become x to the power four and as limit x approaches infinity this approaches to zero so uh, if i express this expression like this so if you even not have done limits still you can understand so i want to understand the behavior at infinity behavior at infinity is difficult to understand from this step but after dividing n and d by x square here i can understand behavior at infinity as x approaches infinity this part approaches denominator this is this is one plus this is going to towards zero this is going towards zero this is going towards zero square root so whole expression will go towards zero so we can see at x equal to zero it is one at infinity it is approaching to zero and in between i'll sh i'll show you this function is a decreasing function it is falling function because g dash x is less than zero we can take derivative right you, you you can do it yourself you take derivative of gx using quotient rule right and you will get g, g, g dash x less than zero right quotient to apply quotient rule take derivative and you will see g dash x is less than zero for all x greater than zero right so it's a falling curve so I if it falls and it's a symmetrical about y axis so graph is some something like this so you can see it lies between zero and one so so this function lies between zero and one we feed the output of this is zero to one excluding zero and and a cos inverse how it varies between 0 and 1 it varies from 0 to pi by 2 so output is 0 to pi by 2 but 0 is not coming from this side only excluding 0 0 to 1 so it means 0 is not coming means pi by 2 is not included so the output is 0 to pi by 2 but not pi by 2 because 0 is not included so here pi by 2 is not included so this is the range 0 to pi by 2